How's it going guys? High Performance Dailies is the next update of Horizon 5. It is coming out next week. Let's get our final predictions in in this video. We already have a confirmed car. Let's use that to try and figure out what other cars are coming. If we've got any more information on the new game mode that's going to be coming midway through the next update it looks like. So let's take a look at the splash screen. As we can see it says August the 15th which is next week. I believe the information reveal for this stream is on Monday. So Monday we'll find out what is is coming on Monday the 12th. Now we know this because over on Twitter, Playground Games announced the live stream for this upcoming update. High performance dailies, let's go. And what do you see in the thumbnail? one of the first new cars. That is the new Ford Fiesta ST. Now that does give us a bit of a hint about what the other cars may be, what they really do mean by the theme name High Performance Dailies. Let's narrow it down. So we are going to focus on the new cars first, as we always do. Now, if we've got the Ford Fiesta ST confirmed already as one of the cars, that does kind of match the theme High Performance Dailies kind of tells me that we might not be getting many super modern supercars in this update because that may not be the direction they've gone with their high performance dailies theme. I'd say we've got a much bigger chance of the other cars in the update being very similar to the Ford Fiesta, so hot hatches, cars like that. Let's take a look at some of the community's guesses, see if we can get any ideas. A few guesses here by Kelpie, which the majority are similar to the Ford Fiesta ST. We've got the Honda Civic Type R from 2023, 2014 Peugeot 208 GTI, another Civic, another Hyundai, and then loads of other sort of miscellaneous hot hatch sort of mini sporty cars like the Porsche Boxster, Toyota GR Corolla, Toyota 86 TRD SE. I don't think we're getting supercars though because I don't think they're be called a high performance daily if the Ford Fiesta ST has been called a high performance daily. So I'm expecting cars similar and in the same sort of category and group as the Ford Fiesta ST. Hot hatches and performance saloons. This I can definitely get on board with. We've got the Mercedes AMG A45, Civic Type R FL5, C63 SE Performance, GR Corolla, that's definitely fitting. We just got the GR Yaris, only fitting that we get that as well. Subaru WRX, Alpine A290, um, and there's a few other suggestions there, which I all agree with. He chucks in the Ferrari Pura Sang there as well, which is, is an SUV. SUVs can be dailied, there's lots of people out there who daily the Lamborghini Urus, so I suppose. A few other Honda suggestions there, the Toyota Camry TRD, that would be great. The Volkswagen, I don't even know how to pronounce that one. People have got the right idea with what to guess, and I think we'll be very surprised if we don't see some of these cars mentioned here. Let's see if the top voted car list has any clues. Now these are all of the top voted cars out of the whole community. Um, there aren't really a lot of cars on the top 20 that I think are suitable because as I said they're all kind of supercars and fast cars that wouldn't really be a high performance daily. It really depends what they're classing as high performance and we've got the Fiesta ST up there so I don't know. The Maserati MC20 is yet again mentioned. We've been waiting for this for bloody ages now. I'm sick of kind of talking about it because it kind of just fits every update theme at this point. I think we're just going to get it randomly whenever they've sorted whatever issue they have with licenses or whatever is going on. The last couple of things we can do to guess the cars is take a quick look at the leaked car list. Any high performance daily cars there? There's actually quite a lot. If you look back, especially to some of the first leaks we got, there's actually quite a lot of cars there that could be classed as a high performance daily and some of the recent ones as well. So I think for once, Lots of the cars on this leaked car list are definitely possible for this update, which is not a regular thing. What else is on the splash screen for this update? Well, we know getting a new collectible, we'll gloss over that. New race routes and a new event lab props. So new race routes is just going to be what it says on the tin, I think, to do a road race on. I can only imagine it doesn't specify if it's a road race, a street race, an off-road race. I'm going to guess it's a road race with the high performance Davies theme. So we'll wait to see them. And then new event lab props. We're getting props in pretty much every update nowadays. So I'm sure that's going to be another little pack of event lab props to fit the theme. So it's hard to kind of guess what stuff's going to come in the High Performance Dailies update. Is all we've got is kind of new cars and that's about it. The interesting thing for this next update is what's going to happen in the middle of it. Now we spoke about this in my previous video. And that's the Gamescom announcement for Forza Horizon 5's new game mode. Forza Horizon 5 is getting a new game mode and a new in-game partnership sometime 
maybe halfway through this update or maybe it will be saved for the update after that but as I showed in my previous video we are going to know what this new game mode is on these dates here when Gamescom happens which is halfway through in fact it's only one week into the next update so we might see a little announcement in this upcoming live stream about what this new game mode is going to be maybe a teaser maybe for the partnership as well however that doesn't mean we're going to get the new game mode and partnership midway through the next update it might not be till series 38 in september where that actually comes to the game and the Gamescom announcement reveal is just a teaser for what's to come. Nevertheless lots of you guys have put through some amazing suggestions about what the new game mode could be and what the new partnership could be and because there's a possibility we might get a tease or hint at it in this live stream coming up on Monday let's quickly talk about it. So the partnership could be quite good I feel like that's getting glossed over quite a bit and could be just as exciting as the new game mode. Will's actually done a good breakdown of what these partnerships could be so the partnership could be with a car specific brand like how we got a bunch of Ferraris come in series 7. It could be another one of them, any manufacturers that are missing, any big groups of cars that are missing, the partnership could be about that. It could be a race series like Extreme E, Formula 1, Formula 2, IndyCar, NASCAR, those kind of you know things. It could be a car related brand so maybe not like a manufacturer like Ferrari but Hot Wheels, Barrett Jackson, something like that. Or it could be a non-car related brand, something completely random like we have seen before, like the Barbie update and the Oreos update, could be something like that. It really could be absolutely anything, but they usually only mention partnerships when it's actually something quite cool. So I'm looking forward to whatever it's gonna be. The game mode is what everyone's looking forward to though. And take a look at some of you, your guys' ideas. The Suggestions Hub was a very good place to look for new game mode ideas. And the one with the most votes was Police Chases. So maybe a Police Chase game mode can be put on the list of possibilities. Event Lab Tour, just like the Horizon Tour, apart from what you actually race with in the tour, are creator-made tracks. That matches what they say about it being a community-inspired sort of game mode. Event Lab Tour, maybe a spin of that. The community does seem to be divided though on whether they want it to be the Eliminator update or not, because a leaked game mode in the past has been the Eliminator Duos game mode. We've not heard about it. I don't think it's going to be this new game mode which lots of people are happy about, lots of people aren't happy about. A rock climbing game mode was actually suggested quite a few times, which could definitely be interesting. I don't know if Foot Horizon 5 has the right physics to do this, but it could be community inspired and could definitely be what they're on about. Considering the Olympics just ended and Horizon 5 is set in Mexico, it would be cool to see them add car soccer. Car soccer is definitely a good suggestion. It can be seen as community inspired. But the suggestion that gets the most votes and people seem to want the most is No Hezzy. If you don't know what Ho No Hezzy is, I'm sure you've seen clips of it on TikTok before where you're, on, you're usually on a highway with an absolutely insane amount of traffic and you're just going as fast as possible, weaving through the traffic and it's kind of called No Hezzy, it's called No Hesitation, you're not supposed to hesitate, you're supposed to just smash it down this busy highway, that's kind of what they mean. So implementing a game mode like that into Horizon 5 wouldn't be impossible. Traffic camouflage, and that's popular over on, on a few YouTube channels and it seems like a fun game mode to play. Are they going to implement that into Horizon 5? Cops and robbers is another possibility. Car hunt. There's just so many things that this could be. This one's my personal favourite. It's going to be called Freaky Horizon, where we all get freaky. Don't know where that came from, but I'm all for it. So this mysterious new game mode and partnership could be part of the High Performance Dailies update or it might be for the update after that. We'll know more on Monday. Keep an eye out for my video, guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed and I'll see you all later.